Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in my last video I did a me on my guinea pigs video and I wanted to do this video showing all my other pets in case any of you are new here and are kind of confused about what animals I have. And because I have quite a lot of guinea pigs, it just made sense to do it all in one video because there wouldn't have been time for all the animals in one video. So this is just gonna be me sharing with you the rest of my animals. So I figured it would make sense to start off with the animals in this room. This is an outbuilding, but it's heated when it's cold. So it's always at a, a stable temperature around sort of 18 to 20 degrees Celsius. One of the gerbils is digging like crazy right now. So the skinny pigs do live in here. You will have seen them in the last video if you watched that. So the rest of the animals that are in here include my gerbils and my Syrian hamster. So I've had Belle since around, I think it was December 2017. So she is probably one of the newer additions, I would have said. So Belle was looking for a new home in the Pets at Home Adoptions section. She'd actually not been brought back to the store. They just couldn't sell her in the store. Like for some reason, no one wanted her. I can't really think why, but I guess she just got to a certain age where they couldn't really keep her in the main pet shop bit anymore for whatever reason so I saw her I just fell straight in love with her I just had to have her and yeah so I adopted her from there essentially so yeah she'll be coming up to two years old which I can't actually believe she'll be too soon because it feels like time's just flown I just hand feed her and that's kind of how I interact with her rather than handling. I just find that she wasn't comfortable at all with it so that's kind of what I find works with her and yeah she's a really sweet little hamster she's just not really a big fan of being handled. Uh, she spends most of her time on a wheel like most hamsters do. So next we have Sooty who lives right here. Sooty is the oldest of all my gerbils and we got Sooty with another male and they would got on really really fantastic for like the first few months and then all of a sudden Sooty became very aggressive, he started trying to attack Milo who was the other male so unfortunately I had to separate them and I've never been able to bond him with any others, I've just decided you know he is better on his own, he is very aggressive with other gerbils, he's not aggressive with me though, he wouldn't bite me or anything like that, he's just not really able to bond very well with other gerbils which is why he's on his own. So Sooty will actually be three this December so he is getting on a bit but he's still very lively. He's always like keep himself busy. I don't think him being alone has really affected his quality of life. Now Sooty's actually the only one of my pets I have right now who wasn't adopted but I had to go to a pet shop because I needed young gerbils and unfortunately none of the adoption places had any young gerbils in. So that was the one time where I did have to buy from a pet shop. So I'm gonna be talking about these guys next. So in here we have Kanga and Joey. Now they are actually brothers to Roo who is next door, who I'll show you in a minute. So basically their story, kind of a bit similar to the reason why I got Sooty, but I had a lone gerbil again because Sooty had to be separated from the other gerbil he was picking on. So I did happen to find some in a local shelter and they had a group of three. I obviously couldn't split them up and just take like one or two, it wouldn't be fair. So I took all three and successfully bonded them with Milo. That went really, really well. And unfortunately, after a while, they just started to fall out and they were picking on each other a bit so I split them into two pairs and then they got on fantastically. I think in that situation having them in pairs was the best solution. So I then split them up into pairs which was these two and then I put Milo and Rue together. Now unfortunately Milo did pass away quite a while ago now, it was a good few months ago. 
so because we lost Milo I now have Root on his own which is kind of that story yeah these two get on really well actually never had any problems with a pair of them they're all really sweet natured and really friendly they wouldn't bite or anything like that they just like they're all actually quite similar though in their characteristics they're just you know like the way gerbils are to be honest like they all kind of have that sort of always on the go kind of personality they're very active animals they're very like entertaining pets actually they're always busy they're always you know keeping occupied and interested and to whether they're digging or running on the wheel or chewing something up or just playing with their toys they're always fantastic to watch so this is Rue who lives next door to Kang and Joey so like I say this is like their brother so I was really debating whether or not to get him a companion because I didn't want him to be on his own but as time went on I was really struggling to find any since we moved up here because gerbils are so hard to come across and I figured he was doing really well by himself again if you do plan on getting gerbils they're very social animals and they do the best with a companion it is just kind of unfortunate. I've ended up having to have Rue and Sooty on their own. I feel like Rue probably could have been bonded with some of this, but there just wasn't any at the time. And it's been so long now that he's gone on his own, I'm not sure that it would really work to bond him with another, but he's very happy, he's very active. He didn't really show any signs of being lonely when he lost his companions. So I know they hide them signs very well, but he really just seems to be doing very well by himself. So here is Vinny. I'm not sure how much of this is going to have him in the shot. He's already gone. <laughs> so we actually got Vinny in April 2015. He was found as a stray and he'd only been in the rescue for about a week. But he just came out with them big puppy eyes. He just gave us that look and, you know, we fell in love with him the moment that we saw him there. So yeah, he don't know much about his past, but a lot of the traits that he has does make me think he maybe was a bit neglected but we really don't know but you know he had no microchip nothing like that no form of identification so I don't really think someone who really loved him had lost him it almost seemed like he was neglected and a lot of the things he does he almost does seem like he's not had the best start to life but yeah Vinny is an absolute doll don't really know his exact age either just because he was a stray so we really have like not a clue how old he is and obviously he is a terrier yeah he's a lovely dog uh, he just lives to walk to be honest and to <laughs> suck blankets he always takes all the blankets in the house puts them in a big pile and just sleeps on them and sucks them and rips them up so he's got a bit of a thing for blankets he loves his bones as you can see, he's basically destroyed this one. He loves being outdoors, actually. He'll just sit outside all day and watch the world go by. You're going to take your bow now. Where's that going to go? Okay. <laughs> so I'm now out here with the rabbits. You can see Beavis over there. Piper's just sniffing the tripod. We've had the rabbits since March 2016. So a good few years now. They were also both found separately as strays and then they were bonded together in the rescue. So we have Bigwig here who is a male and Piper who is female and they are both approximately the same age we think judging by what we've been told about them and they're both lion head rabbits which they're just the sweetest breed. I mean just look at them. 
absolutely lovely. They couldn't be any more different. They're total opposites. Like Piper's so outgoing and she always really really inquisitive and always has to know what's going on she's very very excitable and big wigs are total opposite he just can be really grumpy he often just likes to sit by himself he can get a bit annoyed with piper sometimes but he is a sweetheart and yeah he's he can be grumpy at times he really can but he's just a lovely lovely boy they're both really sweet they get on amazingly they're like an old married couple <laughs> but Honestly, they have the greatest bond and they will spend even really, really hot summer days cuddling because they love each other that much, which I think is so sweet. So here is Jasper, who we've actually had the longest out of all the pets now. I've had him since, ooh, 2013, I think. And he was found as a stray. I think he was still very young when we got him, so he won't be much older than, like, I would have said it's so bright so yeah he can keep himself occupied the whole day just by watching the wildlife and bringing things home sometimes which isn't too pleasant but it's what cats do and it's in their nature but yeah certainly since moving here he's been a lot more active and he's kind of becoming a bit more of a feral cat really because he does spend a lot of time outside he even sleeps in the barn now as well um, but he still does like his interaction with us. So that's all the pets. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, got to know a bit more about the animals and yeah I just felt like this was long overdue because it's been so long since I've done one of these actually showing which pets I have. So I hope you've enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!